Have you ever done something dope in a previous Logic Pro session that you wanted to add to your new session? Well, I have a super dope and easy way to import specific settings, plugins, tracks, whatever you want into your new session with just a few clicks. So let's dig into it. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music production, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. So today, I'm gonna show you a quick way to import settings, session settings, track settings, whatever you need into your new session with a few clicks. So let's dig into it. I'm gonna share my screen in Logic Pro 10, and we are going to make your life like a thousand times easier so it's super legit so you're in your session this is the new session there was a specific channel strip or whatever that i wanted to add to this session so how can we quickly do that within our new session so up here you have uh the browser so you want to click on here you have all files you got different tabs here, but you want to click on the all files tab. This is where you're going to search for the folder that you keep your sessions in. Um, so I keep mine in the music and then logic folder. And this is where my current sessions are. So say I had something in, um, in this session, get glitchy with it. Obviously I have a few different versions, but we'll rock with the first one. So you click OK, and what this does is it brings up every track that and bus tracks that's that were in that that's in that session. Um, so now you're able to select exactly which track you want to drag into your new session. Um, so if you expand this, um, you can go ahead and select that. Now you have a couple options here. If you wanted to say you had a kick and you wanted to import. Um, this particular track is an audio track. So if I wanted to import the audio from that kick or the content of that track as well, or even if it was a MIDI track um, and it had, you know, MIDI, MIDI chords and progressions on there, I could import that as well. Um, so you could do that or you can import just the track. If you want just the track settings, um, you just leave this unselected and then you can just select the plugins. Um, so here, I don't want the kick. I know what kick up I'm gonna use already in the session. I just want the settings, the, the plugins that I use on this particular kick. Um, so here, it'll show you exactly which plugins you, you have on that track. Um, and then uh, the ins and outs. So if, uh, if you had, say a bus track or something coming like reverb or delay um your sins and things like that you can also um select to have those imported as well um so this is super convenient so all you have to do i want the plugins you select that i don't want the io or any sins or anything um so i'll leave that there you can also import automation if you want which is which is super dope um, so I want that and then I also want the the delay bus that I had in that track So I'll select that plus all the plugins that were on that delay um, And then I'll go in and just click add here on the lower right and now that's going to import uh, those new tracks so here you can see kick one um, the new one just came in it has the, uh, the plugins that were in that previous session. It even imported the volume that, that it was at in that session. And obviously if I wanted to import the audio or the MIDI, it would have brought that in as well. Um, then it also brought in that delay, uh, which is this track here that I selected along with the plugins um, and the echo that, or the delay that I used in there and it just brings in every like everything seamlessly um it works within your session you can go ahead and route um something to that delay and you're good to go like that's 
like literally the, the easiest process as far as importing a specific track without you know going through the entire session and figuring out what you need and just yeah yeah you, you get to skip all of that yeah so i literally use this feature all the time it saves me time it saves me a hassle and i just absolutely love it question of the day have you ever had to go back into some of your old sessions and pull some settings or some plugins or files from them and import them into your new session how often do you have to do that let me know in the comment section below if you thought the video was helpful please be sure to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one peace Thank you.